Towers bombing last year was brought into a Washington courtroom under heavy security. Standing before a federal judge, Hani al Sayer, through his lawyer, asked for more time before deciding whether he will cooperate with the FBI's counterterrorism investigators. Canadian authorities publicly linked al Sayer to the truck bombing in Saudi Arabia last year, but sources close to the case question that link. In the United States, the suspect is not charged with the Kobar bombing, but with a previous attempt to smuggle weapons for use against Americans in Saudi Arabia. Several lawyers who have talked at length with al Sayer tell CNN they believe the suspect does have valuable information about Iran's role in Middle East terrorism. He was part of Hezbollah and currently uh, was with the Iranian Revolutionary Guards. Um, he does have uh, pertinent information concerning the um, personnel and the practices of these organizations, and I do believe uh, that this information is of import to the U.S. intelligence uh, agencies. Um, I do not want them to pin the Kobar Towers on this man if he did not do it. Al Sayer appeared smiling and wearing a white t-shirt in a federal courtroom in Washington where he joked briefly about having shaved a previously full dark beard. His criminal attorney, Francis Carter, says Al Sayer is considering every option available to him, including refusing to cooperate with U.S. authorities. But there are strong incentives for the suspect to reveal what he knows. If al Sayer refuses to cooperate, U.S. government sources tell CNN authorities could prosecute him as a terrorist anyway and expel him to Saudi Arabia, where he faces almost certain death. Ralph Begletter, CNN, Washington.